Okay, we're gonna do something a little different this week rather than the usual crafts and stuff um, because it's getting winter time and winter is time to work on motorcycles. So, me and Weston have fixed a few motorcycles together before. Um, we've tried a lot of different things to clean out tanks, different rust removers, stuff like that, and the best thing we found that works is the works. The works. Oddly enough. So we're gonna show you how to do that. It's pretty, pretty easy and it's super cheap because the works, you can get a whole bottle of this for a dollar at Walmart. You can use just one bottle or you can use tons of bottles like we're gonna use. So, we got lots of works to do. So let's go over the list of things that you're gonna need to do this project or the cleaning of the tank, whatever. All the things you'll need are a gas tank, obviously, because you gotta have something to clean out. Um, some works toilet bowl cleaner, because this is what's gonna clean the rest out of there. We're gonna use these wood blocks here to kind of elevate the gas tank so it's not just sitting in the works. We're using this tub so that we don't get this table all corroded and messed up. But if you have a surface you don't care about, you don't need one. And then you need something to plug your pet cock hole. Uh, <laughs> you need something to plug your pet cock hole. Um, we're using a cork for this one, but you can use basically anything that's gonna seal it up so that when you leave your tank overnight with the works in it, it doesn't leak out and flash rust and you don't have to do it all over again. Safety portion. Now onto the safety portion of the video. So this contains hydrochloric acid, which is terrible for you to breathe in. If it gets in your eye, you're gonna have a lot of pain. So you wanna wear safety glasses, a respirator if you can, and you wanna do this outside. You're gonna wanna wear gloves because if you get this stuff on your hands and it sits, it's gonna burn pretty bad. Um, you'll want to wear clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. I am, of course, wearing my sh schmood flannel because I don't turn. care about getting that dirty. It ain't easy being, being cheesy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll want to be somewhere that you don't mind if you spill hydrochloric acid on. Safety tips. Safety first. Safety first. Then teamwork. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove anything you don't want to be completely dissolved off the tank. So any seals, gaskets, you're gonna to wanna to remove your pet cock, any hoses, anything you don't want dissolved needs to come off this bad boy before we can get started. Next you wanna inspect the condition of your tank, see how much rust is in there, see if there's anything rattled around in there. This one's got tons of leaves or something in it because it sat in a barn for 30 years and so whatever blew into the barn blew into the gas tank because there was no cap on it. So if you've got a ton of stuff in it like this one, you're going to want to take it outside and squirt it all out with a water hose. What do they call them water hoses? Just a hose. Um, get out any of the loose particles or any rust flakes out of there. Just get it as clean as possible before you put the acid in. Now that we've got it all washed out, all the leaves and tree junk and metal flakes are all washed out, we're going to seal off the pet cock holes and any of these little vacuum lines or whatever lines and the holes you have in the bottom of your tank that anything's gonna leak out through. We're gonna seal those up and we're going to use, for this tank, since it's just a simple hole, I'm gonna use a little cork and maybe some tape. And I think we'll use tape on the little holes too. Okay, now we're going to use these little blocks of wood and we're going to dry fit and dry run, setting the tank in the little plastic tub we got here to make sure it fits right. It's not gonna tip over once we start pouring the liquid in. Okay, everything's all set up. We got it in the tub, we got it suspended so it's not gonna sit in acid if it leaks out. We got everything capped off. So now you need to decide how much you're gonna put in. We're gonna fill it all the way to the top so it cleans the whole tank all at the same time so we can just set it and forget it, yeah. <laughs> and, but you, you can also just fill it up so it fills up one side and rotate it every couple hours and do it that way if you don't want to spend as much money. When it comes to ratios, we usually do one to one, one bottle of this, one bottle of water. Um, it just kind of depends what you want. The more works you have in, the faster it's gonna work. So if you just wanna leave it overnight and forget it, like we said before, you can do more water. If you wanna just sit and wait for a few hours, you can do more works. Let's do it. Okay. 
You also want to make sure that you don't pour it on the tank if you plan on saving your paint job because it will eat the top coat. So we got all filled up with water and works. So now we're going to take it outside, let it sit for a while, let the works do its magic, and we'll check it tomorrow. Magic. Okay, so we left it overnight. Now we just got to drain it. We got all the toilet bowl cleaner out of there, or Mountain Dew Voltage, because that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go rinse it out with some a high pressure hose and some baking soda so it neutralizes it, doesn't eat through the tank anymore, it just kind of stops the acid from aciding. Okay, we got it all dumped out and it looks real nice. It's pretty much down to bare metal, don't you think? Pretty much. So, next we're going to put some marble mystery oil and acetone in this. You can put whatever you want into it. You can put like WD-40 or anything that's going to prevent it from rusting because now that it's wet and it's bare metal, it's going to flash rust. So you want to get that in there as soon as possible and prevent it from flash rusting. Otherwise, you're going to have to redo it or do a small batch and get all that flash out of there. It looks like fruit punch. It's not fruit punch. It tastes like fruit punch. <laughs> you do want to make sure you use a little fuel filter. Um, it'll just catch any rust particles or anything like that that's in there. Um, also, if you want to, you can seal the inside of the tank. I've done it before. I liked it. Um, or you can just throw some gas in there. But either way, make sure you use a filter. Now that the tank's all done, um, yeah, you can go throw it on your bike. If you liked what you saw or if you know of anything else, Leave us some God. I don't know. I don't know what to say. You're the one who just looked at every other YouTuber. Like, yeah. I don't watch YouTube videos besides the freaking ones of Jennifer Love Hewitt's cleavage. <laughs> if you followed all the instructional material, you just. Set it and forget it.